Hey, this is Casey Ferris. Welcome to probably one of the most important post-production tutorials you will ever watch. And the reason for that is because today we're covering actually being able to do post-production, which, uh, which for most of us means caffeine. Delicious, tasty coffee. So I'm gonna show you how I make pretty darn good espresso at home with just like a $20 gadget from Bed Bath & Beyond. I've only seen this way of making espresso in one other video and it's kind of hard to find and so I, I'm sharing the love, okay? So if you love post-production and you love coffee, oh man, this is good for you. And just because uh, I'm just such a nerd, I'm gonna put a link at the end on how I made this tutorial. So it's like a behind the scenes tutorial of this tutorial. And so we're gonna cover editing, color grading, all the nerdy things that you're used to and that you're probably mad that you're not seeing because you're like, why, why do you have a coffee tutorial? So that's even more nerdery for my fellow nerds. So let's get started. One of the most important things about making coffee is using good coffee beans. Don't just go pick up Folgers, all right? Folgers is okay in a pinch, but um, you really want to get the good stuff if you wanna make the good stuff. I found this guy locally that roasts the beans 20 minutes before you get there. He sells it at this farmer's market. It's awesome. Without being super dramatic, this is the best coffee ever made in the world. So if you can find beans from a local roaster, you can usually get them you know, fresh and grind them yourself and it makes your coffee taste awesome. On to the contraption. This is the AeroPress. It's basically made of plastic. It's a little chamber that you put coffee in and you push it down and it kind of forces the coffee through a filter. Now the way that you're supposed to do this is put water and coffee grounds together and kind of mix them up for a while and then you force the water through the filter and you get really strong coffee. And it does, it makes really good strong coffee. But this way that I kind of figured out is you use two filters. You put one filter on the bottom where the filter's supposed to go, and you also put a filter on the top. And we're gonna do that using my secret weapon, the Spice Classics Chicken Seasoning Salt. I know, you're like, why are you using seasoning salt? It's because of this. The bottom of this little shaker thing is like the perfect size to tamp coffee down. If you've seen somebody make espresso, there's this point where they push the coffee down and kind of compress it in the filter so that it's harder to push water through. And because of that pressure, that's what brings the oils out from the coffee and makes it actually taste like espresso. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna wet my filter and stick the filter to the bottom of this chicken seasoning salt. It sounds crazy, I know. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna tamp down my grounds and compress them at the bottom of the AeroPress. Now I have a filter at the bottom, compressed grounds, and a filter on the top. And the reason we use a filter on the top is because I'm gonna pour water on top of the grounds. I don't want the pressure from the water to break up the grounds and I'll lose my compressed, you know, ground puck thing. I don't wanna do that. So I just have the water sitting on top, pour some hot water in my glass to warm it up. And then I'm gonna take the plunger and push the water down through the filter, through the grounds, through the other filter, and into the cup. And it comes out beautiful. Tell you what, this is probably like 95% like there for real espresso, like that you get from an espresso machine. It's pretty amazing for a $20 AeroPress. And I usually just like to make a latte. And so I'll froth my milk. This is like a $12 milk frother from Amazon. Froth the milk up, put a couple ice cubes in it, pour my espresso on top, add some vanilla syrup, and there we have an awesome vanilla latte. Looks super good, tastes even better. It's pretty much my drink of choice. I'd like to say that I only drink one a day, but that's not always true. Anyway, so I know this is kind of an unusual tutorial for me, but I hope that you liked it. It was kind of out of the box. And if you want kind of more of a normal tutorial from me, I'm gonna release a couple different tutorials on how I finished editing and color graded this video. But if you like coffee, go check out an AeroPress and make it like this. It's delicious. If you like this video, make sure to hit like. If you want more videos not really like this, but more about post-production, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any kind words, comments, questions, inquiries, leave them down in the comments below. Once again, my name's Casey Ferris. I'll catch you later.